Okay, guys. Uh... Probably have this one by now. I saw this time we'll be adding a base to this guy. Just want to add a baseline. Baseline. So let's choose. I know there's a which hypersonic as Han Solo is really game. Yeah, I had a preset which anyways I just want to choose this base yeah. what's the name of this thing to base so we, I'll be also using this project to make more tutorials so that you guys can be able to follow edge and everything that we do okay so let's add a few more bars So my bass also has a lot to do with the with the has a lot to do with the rhythm of the strike. So I'll be using this thing also to find my bass progression. So uh, so I'll be also using this wing 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 to start off map out my bass. I want to make this space a bit more complicated than the other one I did, so let's start. Okay, these guys can wait a bit for now. Definitely, we're taking that. So I'm just going to add this base to a different uh, pattern rack. Paste it. Yeah, let's add, put them in. So obviously the track is on, on the A key. So we take these two A's for it to sound better. Go down an octave also. I'm sure you guys have heard that bass line a lot. So we'll be using it. I just want this bass to fill this eight bars and hmm. Okay, we're just going to continue to copy and paste. Okay. One last time. Boom. Yeah, so remember we're going from A, this is an A. Okay, let's definitely check it out. Moving from A to D to C to B. So I'm gonna go A, D, C, B. Same applies to this bass line. A, D, A, D, C, B, yeah. So this is the A, so we're going to D here. Following the same pattern. Going to the C. And then going to the B. Oh, most definitely gonna do the same thing again. Okay, we're keeping the A here. This guy is D. This guy, C, 
see this guy P. Wonderful. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is on that piece. So let me just add uh, these keys are just too much. Uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, I'll be using some tricks that I used on that melody after again. So let's take this guy and play him an octave downwards. Okay, I don't think that uh, sounds a bit too good. So what I should try to do is add uh, the follow keys. Passing through key. I don't know what I call those things, but what about moving from this one to that one? Okay, let's add the C here since we're moving to the D. Okay, no, try it here. Okay, let's try it here. This guy, I think I should add some variation to the bass. So this A, we're going to add one more key to the A. Definitely not this one. And then you're adding one more keys to each and everything else. Whoops. So you move it really and we're moving this one and add one again. You move this one and add another. Move this one and add. Okay, we're not done, so we're going to take these keys added at the end there. Hey, hey. Keys added at the end, and then we're going to put them all higher. Alright, we're coming along well guys, so we're making a bit making it more complicated just like as I said. So we're adding a few more keys here. We add one more here, one more there, one more there, one more there. Okay, can we try playing this uh Bit higher. I'm not sure this will work though, but I'm not sure about that one. But uh, okay, in the end, so t t d d d. Okay, so I'm going to add uh, some passing through keys here, yeah, which are on this on that chord. So I'm I'm looking at these higher higher up keys. I'm trying to see if they'll also work when I kind of mesh them up with the same bass line again. Guys, I also don't know much about music theory, so I'll be using my ear to see. So we have a C and an E. On that first part and then so let's try them here also in this bass line <coughs> from the side we have a c and an e on that first part so let's try to add the c there and the e there okay i think that sounds a bit okay OK, 
okay i think we can leave this part off but i still know we have a g and a b on this second part of the of the code so we're gonna take them we have the g and the b okay now i'm feeling something else with the rhythm so i'm going to play around something at this part Okay, let's add this, I guess. Okay, I think that sounds good. If we add that second note there. <laughs> Guys, you can see now I'm getting into my groove. This shit is complicated bass, but it's a top bass line at the end. So, um, here, okay, the stack healing will go. I might have to compare these first two bars on that second one. So what I might do, okay, so this one will be the same as that one, and this one will be almost the same. So I'm gonna, I don't think I should do this, but, because hmm. what I was gonna do, I was just gonna copy everything here and take the A and put it on the C, and then these other few keys, maybe I'll fix. Because this part, no, I don't remember how I did it, but fuck it. So, so, anyways. So, here we're moving to the C. Moving to the C here. Okay, so since this is the C, I know this key is a bit wrong. The C contains an A and an E, so this guy is supposed to be the E, this guy is supposed to be the A. And then that would work for sure. Wonderful. Though we're going back to the B. So I can even copy this guy here. And then put this key on the B here. So on the B we have the D and the G keys. So there might be some, for example, these two keys are wrong. We have a B, we have a G and a D. So this is the G and the D on this B chord. Guys, it's still the basic, still the same basic principle, but a bit more complicated. Wonderful. Now that's our base. So this part here, we're going to remove it and then we're going to copy and paste this thing here. Okay, guys, if that's not a fucking dope baseline, then I don't know what you want. This is some high secret shit that I do, so take this tip and use it for sure. For me, for now, uh, I'm gonna have two pounds. I think that uh, explains how much time I take making a baseline, making mapping it out, and making sure it's perfect. So yeah, this is it. I'll be using the same project to do something else once again. I'm not sure what else we should do. If you know what else we should do, then comment, or maybe I'll think about it.